I was proud to see that the voters then of Baguio at that time cannot easily be bought by mm. money, unlike now. Never I had the uh, ambition to become a lawyer. Mm -hmm. It was again by coincidence that my grandfather that I loved so much who took care of me was so maybe uh, that was 1955, nine years old when mm -hmm. that happened. That, was, that case uh, came to my mind when I was graduating mm. Bachelor of Arts. And I had seen how people of our area, how they were being taken advantage mm. by lawyers in the lowlands. That uh, deep in my heart was the one that motivated me. But my problem was I had no resources to enroll in the College of Law. And I discussed it with my single uncle on my father's side. He said, yes, you enroll. We will do our best to. Then again, fortunately, I was taken as a scholar of the Commission on National Integration. During summertime, I worked mm. in Lipanto. That was what I had been doing. Uh, I was able to graduate. Baguio Colleges Foundation ABCF yet at the time, ah. yes. We took our review, UP Diliman. Mm -mm. I was sickly at the time when I was taking up the review because I got my insomnia from every night <laughs> engagement. <laughs> then I was about to quit, but fortunately I did not. Mm -hmm. uh, and the third Sunday of the very examination, I think that was in commercial law. I was taking my exam, but I lost my consciousness. They called the doctor to revive me when I regained my consciousness. Good, I was not disqualified. Mm. And I made... Uh, nakapasa pa rin. Nakapasa mm. pa rin. So that was it. Now, in my practice, uh, well, there was a time that uh, all the organized labor unions in the city of Baguio, I was their lawyer. So I was the lawyer of the employees of Baguio County Club, the then Hyatt Hotel. So I was the lawyer of all the employees. I uh, spearheaded the negotiation of the retrenchment policy of Lipanto when it retrains 1,508 employees, I concentrated to the poor mm. working class. Not good income, but mm -hmm. that's where my happiness is. Yeah. And I was the founder of the Lepanto Supervisors Union in 1988. Mm -hmm. That was me as a labor lawyer. Thank you very much for interesting us your life story. It was very mm. inspiring. Yeah. Ngayon, sir, um, so with all of this <laughs> on the side, what made you decide to enter politics? I did not like to enter politics. Mm -mm. I know my limits. I have no means. Mm -mm. But December of 1987, in the party, we have to get representatives from all the tribes living in the city of Baguio, mm -hmm. which was, which is ideal. What I accepted and then at the time was to chair the selection committee of who will be our candidate for councillor, mm -hmm. the Highlanders. We did our job. We selected the late Galloway Gan mm -hmm. as our candidate. Unfortunately, three days before the <clears throat> deadline filing of candidacy, Galloway Gan changed his mind. Mm -hmm. He decided to run for mayor. Oh. His analysis is all those uh, intending to run for mayor are lowlanders. None is an Igorot. So he said, I have to run. I am the only Igorot. I expect that 
The Igorots will vote for me. Anyway, so he insisted. Because of that, the group said, no more Sika. Mm. That was how I as was post, As councilor. So I said, I saw. <laughs> anyway, I was forced to be part of it. So that was okay. how it was. That was the start of my life uh. in government service. After the four-year term, about to end, I said, hey, talaga, <laughs> so difficult to be in politics. I want to go back to my law, private law practice. So, But the leaders, a lot of leaders keep on coming to my house and said, no, you, will, you should be part of the team. Mayor. Mayor. Okay. And I was seeing, because they said, you will be the vice mayor. No, 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 no. I will be the campaign manager. Sikat the vice mayor. So that was how, again, I was pushed to run as vice mayor. But, well, me, it so happened that I won as vice mayor. And, as I said, the rest is history because June 30 of 1992, the oath-taking yes. of all elected officials, officials Na, nine o'clock in the morning, because at one o'clock in the afternoon, we will assume uh, our Your position, position. Uh, to start functioning. So, nine o'clock, I took my oath oh. as vice mayor. After 15 minutes, I was required to take my oath as mayor. mayor. So, I went into the mayor. So, that was how it happened. Because uh, because Labo they, uh, was disqualified yes. for being uh, for being an est stateless person. Stateless. No. Person. So I took my oath as permanent mayor. No. That was my first term as mayor, mm. which happens to be the hardest ah, yes. period. Of Baguio City because, because of the earthquake. Yes, yeah. we were then ruined by the killer earthquake mm. of Nine. July 16, 1990, and that was the height of the rehabilitation okay. of the city of Baguio. Uh, Apo Bergara was with the other party, so the other party, but we said we have to work together mm. regardless of our party. Um, this is the situation of the city of Baguio. So, we formed again our Tempoyo. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, elected officials. Here comes the election of 1995. Mm. <clears throat> June Labo was able to fix his... Uh, he was repatriated as a Filipino citizen. And uh, he was again uh, going to run for mayor. So said no more. Uh, I cannot fight uh, Labo. Uh, I have to go back Malabo to my. Well, I have to go back to my private <laughs> law practice. I said, but, you know, all the leaders have been frequenting my house here. You, you run. I think no one can defeat Labo except you. That's mm. what they, they had been flattering me. But I said, and the kading of Bulbula, I says, amo yo. Siguro no or no ok amin ti intermenti nga naglingling utak ti 300,000 na as against the dollar of Labo. Mm. Ni Labo ko dollar pa yung piso ti kwarta na. No, pan ti restaurant ko dollar. Uh. Kasta na bulsa na dollar. That was it. Kanayon da. Towards the end. Ad Adalak how Labo was winning. Mm. I think. Adan sa chance mm. Because you know, he keeps on winning because there are very qualified and good candidates running for the same position. So the votes of the intelligent one, classes A, B, C, and even D, are being divided to the very qualified and good mm -hmm. candidates. Uh, On the classes A and G, the squatters, no? Kanayong ikanilabot ti Bagas, Sardinas, 
kung magatun na yun ka. I was proud to see that the voters din of Baguio at that time cannot easily be bought by money, unlike now. And they kept on coming. I said, all right, I will accept the challenge. I will face Labo on one condition. And yung ay condition mo, no one should run against us, against Labo, so that I will run against him one on one, so that if he will still win, then let us bow our head. He is the choice of our own people. For the first time, it it was followed. 1995. Now, when the election came, I did not expect na kas dete di perinsyal. So that was how it happened. So, well, fortunately, we continued. So, the rehabilitated the city of Baguio. Mm -hmm. I founded the Alay Sakalinisan. Mm -hmm. so, now, for the first time, 1994, there was a national contest of the greenest and cleanest mm -hmm. pins, uh -huh. the highly urbanized city, the component mm -hmm. city, and the provinces. We did not expect we were the champions. And then the following year, 1995, We again won for the second second time. That was also the year when we founded the flower. Started talking about the flower festival. 1995. 1995. To give credit to whom it is due, it was the late Attorney Bangawi. We agreed that we will have a flower festival in the city of Baguio. And we never thought that the Flower Festival will grow at its magnitude as it is mm -hmm. today. That was the Flower Festival. And then, 1996, for the third time, we won again as cleanest and greenest, highly urbanized city. <laughs> so, Hall of Fame, also during that year, So the first Gawad Pamana ng Lahi Award was won by Baguio City, 1996. And <coughs> also during that year, I was chosen as one of the five select outstanding indigenous leaders of the Philippines. During the global conference, I was I was never told that I will I will be one of the awardees. Mm. I've been in my complete mm. native attire without brief, so that it is authentic. <laughs> authentic. So, so I went there <laughs> uh, without brief. I was wearing my G string. When we were lining up to enter the hall, the hotel, I was told by the guard, hindi po pwede yung ganyang attire sa amin sa akin. I thought he was joking, so I... I answered him jokingly also, kung hindi pwede, alisin mo at makikita mo yung cordillera size. Tingnan mo. Nagkakatawa na ganyan. Thank you very much po, Atty. Mauricio Tumogan. I'm very, very honored to have heard your story from your childhood to your accomplishments and to your political life. Siyempre, promise po natin sa mga viewers natin yung ating pag-games mayor. Ayan, so yun po yung laman niya. May nagsabi po kasi, sir, na favorite niyo daw po ang Baby Ruth at saka sneakers. Yeah, Kaya binil... <laughs> All right. Agyaman ako na yun, sir. Any last words? Well, thank you very much, Jean, and to all the staff of this television station. Maraming maraming salamat to you, our beloved constituents of Baguio. We acceded to the request of different sectors for me to go back as mayor and uh, uh, therefore we ask uh, you to support it as we are doing before so to each and everyone god bless and good day there you have it ladies and gentlemen a man full of wisdom attorney mauricio dumogan thank you very much for tuning in and i hope to see you again next week stay safe be happy and always keep the faith. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.